Welcome to the Kit Core Basics demo video. We're going to use Kit Core Deluxe to create a basic acoustic drum track, and the same techniques work for Kit Core, you just don't have as much content. We're going to create an instrument track. We use instrument tracks because Kit Core is an AU, VSTI, and RTAS virtual instrument. And we're going to insert the Kit Core plugin. So there's my instrument track. Now we'll add Kit Core. And we're going to add it as a stereo virtual instrument, but of course it can also be multi-channel, so you can route your kick drum, your snare, and the other pads into your host for processing and mixing. There's 24 pads of kit sounds and also 24 percussion sounds for a total of 48 different sounds. And now we're going to go find some beats. Within the Groove browser, you can search by drummer. Here you'll find Matt Sorm of Velvet Revolver, Sly Dunbar from Bob Marley, or in this case, Alan White of Yes, and a lot of other great drummers represented. Kitcore Deluxe includes over 100 drum kits and over 3,000 MIDI files. Also, you can go in and look by music style or genre. So if you just want a rock beat, a country beat, or a funk beat. And all the content is arranged into groove sets, which is a song style format where the drummer sits down and plays basic grooves, verse chorus variations, and fills based on their sensibilities. Kitcore will also let you search based on feel, so if you're looking for a shuffle, or in this case, a straight eighth type of feel, you can find it quickly. And there's even a view area up above the play button there where you see the actual MIDI data, so you can tell how dense and busy a part is even before you click on it. So here I'm looking at the Alan White Brown-esque groove set, and you'll notice there's all those variations. Now I'll select the Brown-esque drum kit to go with the Brown-esque groove set. Of course I can mix and match drum kits and beats, but when the drummer recorded the part, he used a particular sound, so for the most realism, I'll keep the two together for now. Within my library, I can choose to look at loops, like beats and variations, fills, or both. So I'm looking at all the grooves, variations, and fills within the Brown-esque groove set. Again, Brown-esque is like a pretend song that he was playing. Use QPlay mode to audition the way beats and grooves and fills work together even before you export them to your host. For example, here we'll go from a fill, to a basic beat, then to a variation, and then to kind of a breakdown style thing. And then to a ride pattern. So we have a great sense of how everything works even before we export them. So now we just drag and drop those parts we found over to a track. So there's our fill, here's our basic beat, here's our variation on that beat, and remember that I auditioned all these using QPlay mode even before I exported them, so I knew they'd work well together. Now we'll throw in our breakdowns. And now we'll just roll it all back and listen to it. So we start with our fill. The groove, the variation on it. Do that all over again. And now our breakdown. And then to our ride pattern, which could be a chorus or something. So creating drum tracks with kit core is incredibly easy, right? So make sure you check out our other videos on the website, especially the one that shows how to add Latin sounds and electronic sounds, because Kitcore is a lot more than a basic five-piece drum set. Kitcore Deluxe. Great sounds. Huge variety. No fuss.